everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm gonna teach you how to make the ultimate party appetizer. It is a make ahead, super easy shrimp cocktail. You're gonna love this sauce. So let's get this party started. I have two pounds of peeled and deveined fully thawed shrimp with the tails still on. Give those a quick rinse under cold water, then thoroughly pat dry with paper towels. You wanna make sure there's no excess water on those shrimp. If you can find shrimp that are already peeled, that's even better because it cuts the prep time in half. Transfer those to a large rimmed baking sheet and drizzle the top with about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. Then sprinkle on half a teaspoon of sea salt and half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Give the shrimp a quick toss to combine, then spread them in an even single layer on your pan. Now bake them in the center of a fully preheated oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. For extra large 16 to 20 count shrimp, bake for eight to 10 minutes. And for smaller 21 to 25 count shrimp, bake for six to seven minutes. Take them out of the oven when they're just cooked through and they've turned pink. And as soon as they come out of the oven, you wanna carefully transfer them right away to a serving platter. Make sure to get them off of the baking sheet because if they sit on a hot baking sheet, they can overcook. Set the shrimp aside to cool to room temperature. Now we're gonna make that fabulous zesty cocktail sauce. In a small mixing bowl, combine half a cup of ketchup and half a cup of regular chili sauce. Next, add three to four tablespoons of prepared horseradish. The horseradish does give it a nice spicy kick, so add this to taste. Next, add one and a half tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And if you don't have a good lemon squeezer, you'll love this one. I'll leave a link to it in the notes. Next, add a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce and half a teaspoon of hot sauce or add the hot sauce to taste. Stir everything together to combine and the sauce will taste pretty spicy at this point, but keep in mind, you wanna refrigerate that sauce for at least an hour and give the flavors a chance to meld and mellow out. Transfer the sauce to a serving dish, then cover the sauce and the shrimp, and you wanna refrigerate that for at least an hour or overnight. This is completely a make-ahead recipe. The shrimp and the sauce taste best when they are fully chilled, so keep it in the refrigerator until ready to serve. All right, it is the moment I've been waiting for, the taste test. The shrimp is nicely chilled and you wanna make sure that you let that sauce rest at least an hour. And it's totally make ahead. I think it tastes even better the next day because the flavors meld. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, this looks so good. That's a lot of shrimp, but I'm telling you, it makes a big batch, but it's great because it always disappears fast. And to serve, I love adding some lemon wedges so people can squeeze fresh lemon juice over their shrimp. So I have a trick. Um, the best way to get even lemon slices is, I'll, I'll just have to show you, okay? All right. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> A little messy, but whatever. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna squeeze some fresh lemon juice right over these shrimp. Okay, and then add some more to our platter. Oh, these are just irresistible. This is always the empty platter at parties. They go so fast. All right. I'm gonna dig right in because I can't wait. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That combination of flavors in the cocktail sauce, oh, it is the perfect balance of tangy and spicy. You've got a little bit of kick from the horseradish sauce and the hot sauce, and you can add those to taste. If you like a little more heat, add a little more. That's what we do. <laughs> it tastes amazing chilled, which is awesome because this is completely a make-ahead appetizer. Also, when you roast shrimp, 
It's so much more flavorful than boiling because the store-bought cocktail rings, it's usually boiled shrimp. This has just, just this natural, sweet, roasted flavor in it. Anytime you roast any kind of meat or seafood, it always tastes better. It is the perfect make-ahead appetizer, and this literally takes like 15 minutes. It is so fast, easy, absolutely delicious, and I hope this becomes your new favorite shrimp cocktail. You'll never want the store-bought again. I'm just gonna warn you right now. <laughs> so delicious. Make this for your next party and it will disappear fast. Hey, before you go, if you guys are looking for more quick and easy appetizers, you have to make that one right over there and don't miss that one right down there. And before you go, make sure you click below to subscribe and when you do, make sure you hit that little bell icon so you'll get notifications every time I post a new recipe. We'll see you in our next video.